Um, ha salido en el de grupo de Tía. Es Unidad Latina en Acción, es Latinos United in Action, which is uh, an organization that was created 10 years ago. This is our 10 year, and for a long time we were really close to this specific room because for a long time um, there was a, another active group of immigrants working in Hartford called Latinos Contra la Guerra, if you remember them. And they were the great, and as I was just talking to Chris, that maybe has to be a way to recreate that group because it's an important need um, for, for Hartford and also for the rest of the state, especially in these times where the, the laws, they are getting harder on immigrants. So basically we work mostly with uh, undocumented workers and we work on uh, many issues as and all the issues we call them human rights, you know, when somebody doesn't get paid or somebody is being detained for their uh, racial features, I think there's all human rights violations. Um, <clears throat> like um, our fight from the beginning um, as, as a group, we started and um, one of the one big issue that was affecting the immigrants back in 2002 and 2001 in, in New Haven, and it was that the people that were detained just because the racial profile for racial profiling, and the people, uh, the police detained them, and and there was creating a lot of commotion on the community. So we develop a few uh, conversations, a few, uh, a few public meetings between the police department and the community where we brought around 500 people because the, uh, our community, they were really afraid about, <clears throat> about what the police was doing to them. Um, basically, that conversation with the police department was very fruitful. Um, back in 2006, the police passed the first resolution on, or the first order internally on the police department where they ordered the police, they cannot stop people for their, for their features, racial features, but also they ordered the police officer not to ask them for their legal status in this country. So that was one of the bigger victories. And, and then I believe in Hartford, after that Hartford, they, um, years later, they pass a stronger, um, in our case, it's an internal order from the police department. I think, I believe here in Hartford, it's, an, it's, a, it's a law in, in the city, no? Yeah, okay. So, so for us, you know, <clears throat> that's, uh, that's something that, um, that create uh, or make the, the life in the city of New Haven different than the surrounding towns. So I guess you remember East Haven or West Haven, especially East Haven has been in the news lately. And East Haven, which is like just crossing the, the river, the Quinnipiac River, you're in East Haven. The police there behave in a different manner which is still affecting our community and that forced us to get involved in, uh, in East Haven. But we have, been able, we have not been able to change what's going on there. Um, so when the federal government, um, they announced the, secure, the implementation of secure communities, you know, like two years ago, uh, we start getting worried but, but then we found out that the secure communities in that time that was just implemented in, in one particular place in, in Connecticut, which is uh, the Fairfield County. Um, so we start like um, approaching uh, people from that, from, that, um, from that area. And basically we start getting cases, people calling us from Bridgeport, from uh, Cheshire, uh, asking us how, the, how we can help them because 
basically they are they had been detained by uh, by the police, but they had been turned to immigration. And so last year uh, we had like ten different cases where ten different people from uh, from the area from the from Bridgeport they got detained for a really minor cases and they got fingerprint and after that they got fingerprint their fingerprints they got taken to the FBI and eventually to the immigration service and eventually uh, the immigration service they put a detainer order on them and this is a uh, one thing that was a uh, in that time, we did not have like a, a really understanding about the program, but we start seeing cases where like people just like uh, in one case.